thesmartlocal.com Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Pretty Smart. My name is Cheryl Kajim and for this episode, we're going to test out a range of makeup products that just arrived in Singapore's h and that we grabbed from H&M in Singapore and we will be testing out the H&M makeup products with other fashion brands like Forever 21, Topshop and Factory. So over here is the eyebrow sculpting kit. By the packaging itself, it looks super chill. It's so sleek. This is what it looks like. So this is the wax part. Usually when I do my brows, I don't really put the wax or neither do I use the wax because I barely have any eyebrow hair to wax. But the colours look relatively light. It's very pretty eh. Oh no. <laughs> Let's check out the one from Factory. Okay, first impression of this kit is it comes with a brush and a spoolie to groom your brows. That is very good. So this one is H&M. I'm just going to put it aside. It's like a taupey colour, which is like an eyeshadow colour to me. The colour and the texture of it definitely wins for H&M. The next one we have here is blushers! Let's swatch it on our hands and we'll see how the colours turn out on our skin. Wow! I must say that the H&M one is more pigmented. The texture of these two cream blushes are very very similar and I like the colours. I think this would look better on me. But if I have other choices of shade, um, maybe I would choose Topshop. Now is the lipstick. The colour is very bright. I'm a bit scared because it's so bright. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. The H&M one, which is the one at the bottom, it's way glossier and it glides on. This one took a little bit to um, get a bit of colour on my hands. And it's much more sheer than the one from H&M. Next, I have with me some makeup blenders. It, it is definitely not dragging the product all over my hand. So if on your face, it's not like you push it a bit and then like it just like moves away. Let's try the one from Forever 21. So when I tried to soak it with water, the H&M one took a while for water to absorb into the beauty blender. But for this one, when I put the sponge in and I squeeze it one time, the water literally just all... Okay, the water's changing colour. It's like... I don't know why, but it feels like there's like soap. Can you see? It feels like there's already stuff, like it's been used before or what. I don't know why, but the water looks kind of like gross. Right off the bat, I prefer the H&M one so much better because it literally seamlessly blended it in. This one we got is from H&M and this is from Forever 21. And the price range is, this is $7.90. More pricey because this is only $2. I love the style of this. I like the kind that is like really full at the sides. And it gives you like a, it gives you like a cat eye kind of look. But I'm not a fan of thick backbone. Now this is the one from Forever 21. This feels super duper solid. It's quite pretty lah if you look from afar. If you're like going on a date with a guy, right, don't wear this because you might scare him once you take your falsies off because it's so dramatic. Before I even try it, I'm just gonna say that the H&M one is worth $7.90 by the feel of it. $2, honestly, that's what you get. Next one we have here is from H&M, it's the Eye Color Palette. And we couldn't find other fashion brands eyeshadow palettes. So we don't want to give this a miss because it's really, really very, very pretty. So these are the colours. I'm not sure how the pigment of these eyeshadows are. So let's give a swatch on a couple of colours, okay? <gasps> I want to try the light one because this is great for a wash over your lips. Hey, not too shabby! I would say the colour payoff of this eyeshadow palette from H&M is pretty okay. It's not Urban Decay kind of colour payoff because Urban Decay is expensive. But this for $14.90, I'll make do with it. So now that we've done the first impression of all the products, we're gonna put it on my face and we'll test out half of H&M's products and the other half, the other fashion brand products. So now I've removed all the makeup on my face. My face is completely bare. Let's get started. So I just finished 
finished the makeup and this side of my face is the H&M makeup and this side is the other fashion brand's makeup products. I love, love, love the H&M Beauty Blender. It's amazing. I don't know what's in it or where they made it or who made it. It's just really good. Tables have turned for the eyelash. I don't know why but the 790 H&M eyelash are giving me quite a bit of problem. It folded at a certain part of the falsy so it was like very straight and stiff. So if you want to wear red lips out in the day, I would recommend the one from Factory because it's less jarring, it's not yelling in your face because if you wear the H&M one in daylight, people are just going to be like, where are you going later? In conclusion, I'm actually very surprised that these fashion brands actually branched out into making makeup products. Don't just go to Sephora, give it a chance for fashion brands as well because you might be surprised at what products you really like. That's all we have for you this week. Thank you so much for watching. Sending all the love to you guys. Till then, take heart, be kind, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Mwah.